I know I've been gone long, but told you dad had to work. I told you about that thing I was doing with 99 Project in Arizona. All your cousins out there in Galapagos, they was having a bunch of issues a while ago with like El Nino and stuff, but yeah, man, you know, dad, dad's back. And uh, I had some cool conversations with all your siblings from Godzilla land. They are massive and they swim and their hands are way bigger than yours. I promise you. Been a long trip. See you guys later. We just pulled up to Galapagos. It's just amazing, man. As you can see, it may look like a desert to you guys, but we are in the middle of an island in the middle of the ocean. You can see two massive Santa Fe iguanas. So dope. Stay tuned. Oh, yo! Oh! Oh! Buddy, you're in the road, man! What are you doing in the road? Man, there's so many cars and stuff over here, man! What are you doing? I'm too loud, I'm sorry. I freaked you out. I didn't mean to be that loud. Look at this animal. Oh my goodness. Definitely a male, big long tail. Look at the spurs on his thighs. Thick, round, robust shell. Man, first time seeing this play in this natural habitat is a beauty. I have a lot to say about these species and a lot of animals that inhabit this land. But um, this is my first one, so I'm gonna soak it in and absorb it. And I promise you guys, we have a lot of stuff to cover on this episode of Exploring the World with your boy Tarzan. Wow. So, we just got here to uh, Isabella and our first sighting up close of Godzilla. The marine iguana. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Bro! Okay, so that one back there had to be a female. Look at this thing. Oh my goodness. Lawless animal. The dorsal spikes from head to tail are completely flawless. This is amazing, man. Look at that beast, dude. Look at the freaking spikes. Every fiber, every muscle in my body is holding me back from touching this thing. <laughs> what a freaking awesome place. Iguanas everywhere. It's insane. The first day was all about observation. To be honest, I learned more about these creatures sitting and watching them for a few hours than I ever learned in a book. I mean, think about it, just sitting down from when the day starts all the way till the sun goes down and just watching the same species from different life stages do its thing. from eating, from basking, from going out for a swim, from mating to 
fighting, to battling for territory, to battling for females, to communication that is all surreal, a dream come true. What's up guys? So we're here in the Galapagos driving beachside to another part of the island. Now we found some locals and they said there's more colorful iguanas, which means they're more locale specific. Maybe different species of iguanas, we don't know. So we're gonna go over there and check them out. Babies, juveniles, adults, everything. We're gonna be there in about maybe 15 minutes, so be right back. All right guys, so we just got to the spot and here is a whole lot more rocks than we saw over there. Meaning there's a whole lot more iguanas, more space. More spaces to eat algae, more spaces to see other females, more spaces to bask, bigger rocks, and of course, more food, which is the most important part. Now there's a whole bunch of big, huge males and young males coming up. Um, from what I've been told and understand, some of these big, huge guys are about 50 or 60 years old. And of course, you can't really pinpoint an exact age on these animals because unless you're watching one from the day one all the way till it's this big. So who knows how big these guys are? It could be 100 years old. I mean, why would you put it past animal? It looks like Godzilla. Look at that thing. It's amazing. Now, not only is this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, just 11, 12 big males in the smaller section. And you got all these rocks over here check it out if you take a look at his head you can see that and his nostrils he's constantly snorting out water he's just blowing the salt out of his nose the salt sometimes keeps getting built up on his face and it just turns into a little, a little salt facial scrub you know but it, of course you can peel off it's so cool to see just the different adaptations and characteristics each animal carries and everyone looks completely different this guy over here is a big hunk and his arm is massive. He's been doing curls all day for the girl. Oh my, yo, Godzilla, I see him walking. Let's go this way. Bro, I know for a fact that those flies are pissing you off right now. You have 16 flies on your lips. You don't. Hey. <laughs> now, are these flies eating the algae? I don't know. Look how big his hands are, dog. Man, is thick. So sick, man. I know you guys are asking, what's that head bob? The head bob means a lot of different things. Communication. Hey, back up. Hey, I'm angry. Hey, I want to mate. You know, there's so many different motions of the head that lizards communicate with each other. Now, if you sit here and study lizard communication, you'll understand exactly what they're saying towards each other. Oh, look at this guy. And their hands are mad. Look at that back foot. Come on, you can't tell me that's not a massive hand, a massive foot force of lizard that size. But when you think about them diving down deep, they have to grip on these rocks, these, this, you know, to eat the algae. You gotta have big hands to hang out underneath there. Sick, man, look at that. A lot of people always say like, oh, I want someone to have a bunch of money or a bunch of this or a bunch of material things. Like, no, man, how about the feeling? I want people to, take the opportunity to realize they can get something that's priceless which is a feeling of seeing something like this by chasing your dreams by doing what you want to do as your goals you know having a vision and a plan in life knowing what you want and putting everything into it man and that feeling is priceless man the feeling i'm feeling right now is worth any amount of money in the world any amount of material thing in the world just to sit here and just i could be quiet and not say a thing and i am the most happiest the most anything you can want on earth but you got to have that same passion every day and be happy and be grateful for what you have to be able to accept the experience that god gives us to witness such creatures in the flesh <laughs> 